seven, get up eight. Struggle your way forward. No matter what, do not give up. No matter what obstacles in your path, find the strength to continue. And that is what I am doing. Welcome to another one meal a day vlog. If you're new here, my name is Daniela Joy and the last year and a half has been in a tremendous struggle in my life. But through that struggle, I struggled forward and made a transformation. I started a one meal a day fasting schedule after getting into a car accident and that car accident triggered a bunch of chronic injuries and chronic pain, massive headaches, depression, and the whole lot. I turned to food for comfort. I struggle with BED, I've struggled with it for all of my life, ever since I was a child just to deal with trauma I had in my life. And I use OMED as a tool to help reduce my eating window so I reduced the amount of times that I would binge. It was a tool to help me with binge eating. Basically, you reduce your eating window, you reduce the amount of calories you eat, and you're forced to really deal with your problems head on as opposed to turning to food. For those of us who do struggle with food addiction or turning for that dopamine hit. Anyway, I made this transformation with one meal a day. I've lost over 110 pounds on my weight loss journey. I've done all sorts of diet, keto, regular looking weight loss diet, high protein, moderate carb. However, I've lost the majority of my weight with Keto OMAD. I find the most success with OMAD and Keto when it comes to weight loss. So if you're interested in learning about losing weight, learning about intermittent fasting, the metabolic switch, overcoming your demons, because I do talk about that, because this is a holistic journey, make sure you hit that subscribe button and come join the fam. In life, people deal with their problems differently. We all face the same things, which is the suffering of life. But we all deal with it differently. Some people turn to food. Some people turn to alcohol. Some people turn to hooking up with multiple people. Some people turn to shopping. Some people turn to controlling people and manipulating people and getting away from their own demons that way. I was listening to Bishop Jakes this morning and he talked about that. He talked about how some people in life control other people or control situations. They try to control other people because they can't control what's within them. They run away from the demons that is within them. They have an outward appearance. They may have all the muscles. They may have all of, you know, the superficial stuff because they use that as a mask to hide what is going on deep down inside. And this talk I'm listening to by Bishop Jakes is really helping me because he's talking about having the courage to keep going regardless. You can either let your problems push you down and you go into a depression or you can choose to fight. You can choose to get desperate. You can choose to get determined. And he said a determined person is someone who will wake up at six o'clock in the morning and do what they gotta do. And guess what? That is me right now on a Sunday morning, waking up at 6 a.m. in the morning, getting my butt to the gym, doing what I gotta do to make things happen. And I was like, I needed to hear this this morning. I needed to. And I just want you to know that you need to have that determined spirit. You need to know that no matter what, you will get through. You have to make the promise and the decision to never give up on you. Just keep falling forward. And I promise you, it will all click together. It is hard out there. It is difficult. Not losing weight, conquering your demons, making that transformation within is so hard. But you can do hard things. You can overcome. And I share my journey to inspire you to overcome. This is me overcoming right now. This is me putting one foot in front of the other after getting knocked down by several things. But I refuse to stay down, and you shall too. Anyway, I'm drinking my electrolyte drink and we are going to head to the gym. Let's get this done.
official I'm dying it is day one of my cycle and I showed up to the gym because I knew it would be a bad cycle it's a very bad cycle and that fibroid theory is a hundred percent right I should be getting an ultrasound next week but pretty much I put in an orange you know what tampon and within an hour done no wonder I had like a five pound weight gain this cycle not to mention I started glute work this week and I am dying let's just say I'm dying I'm pretty sure I'm dying I know it's TMI but <laughs> I'm dying. I had to cut my workout early. Well, I've been here for two hours. Oh, being a woman's awesome. It's okay. I showed up. I showed up. And I'm so glad I'm working out in the morning. It's so easier. Anyway, I'm in the sauna. I'm gonna go enjoy it. Look how yellow these eggs are. Oh my gosh. I love the egg yolk. It's my favorite part of the egg. This is so yellow. So there's four eggs in here and a hundred grams one serving of egg whites because we need to get in the protein we are about to break my fast and it's 449 I know it's before six but it's fine <laughs> and a splash of cow's milk to fluff up the eggs name a better combo I'm sure you could but right now this is life-saving especially if those yellow eggs and I have the world's worst migraine right now, so these glasses are staying on. I started wearing glasses because of the car accident. I hit my head so hard that I messed up my eyesight. Um, it's not that I can't see, it's just that my eye gets weak because of the muscles behind the eye and it, it hurts. So this, my eyes strain pretty much. It's called astigmatism. I had it before, but my muscles were so strong and then the car accident happened and anyway. I must say, I prefer to do my workouts early in the morning. The 6 a.m. workout, 7 a.m. workouts, they just work well for me. I was working out in the afternoon and I was just on the struggle bus. On the struggle bus with hunger and everything. I don't know why. Maybe it's because my body is so used to working out first thing in the morning. Fasted. It just is. And I haven't eaten this since at all. Hi, Alex. <laughs> my son's here I'm also in the process of making some beef liver so there's that I'm currently 20 hours and 23 minutes into my fast so there's that um, this is gonna be a 24 or more day I will catch up with you guys after because I have a camera that's jacked up and the battery keeps dying on me and I want to eat with my family so I'll probably do a voiceover on everything I ate yeah, my camera is officially done, guys. Don't worry, I have a solution. But I ended up having a ton of eggs, some avocado, some olives, rutabaga. Is that rutabaga? Yes, that is rutabaga. And some bacon for breaking my fast. There's the beef liver being cooked away. So I ended up breaking my fast at 20 hours and 50 minutes for that day and I also broke my fast with an olive because I've been craving olives and there's the amount of beef liver I had I didn't have a lot because beef liver is pretty protein dense and there's me having my Lily's dark chocolate yes I did use this clip in another video and I had a three hour and 23 minute eating window. And that day I ended up having 1,523 calories, 105 grams of protein. So I ended up going over anyway on my protein, but that's okay. It was a strength training day, 103 grams of fat, 24 grams of net carbs, 44 grams of fiber, and there we have it. If you made it this far into the video, just drop in a bunch of vegetable emojis because vegetables are everything when it comes to reducing that belly fat, that fiber, that gut health, making our gut bacteria very happy. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Take care. Bye.